click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about D-block elements and now in this topic I am going to talk about transition elements. So what are transition elements and why do D-block elements are known as transition elements? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. <music> So friends, let us talk about transition elements. So D block elements are also known as transition element because of the following reason and the reason is that is the transition elements are defined as those elements which have partly or incompletely filled n minus 1 d orbitals in their elementary state or in any of their common oxidation state. So based on that we have a certain example but for that we have to just look out the periodic table and for that we have. So friends in this table as you can see that is for D block elements it starts with scandium that is that is belonging to the 3d series this is known as 3d series because it ends with the d orbital that is 3d orbital and in this case ytterbium it ends with the 4d orbital and that's the reason this is known as 3d 4d series 5d series and 6d series so in this case suppose if i talk about scandium and related to that we have also discussed about the electronic configuration and suppose if i'm talking about that is zinc so in this case basically starting from scandium to zinc or either I could say that is from actinium and in this case it starts with that is rutherfordium and it ends with UUB that is also known as that is copernicium nowadays. So in this case suppose if I talk about the electronic configuration of that is scandium and zinc. Let us understand that is which one is called as a transition elements even though we understand that is all the elements that are being belonging here are known as D block elements but not every D block element is a transition element. This is what I'm going to talk about in this topic. So for that we have. So friends we understood the meaning of transition elements and suppose if I compare the electronic configuration that is for scandium. For scandium it is nothing but it is scandium 21 means, means it consists of 21 electrons. So for that we can write the electronic configuration as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d1. So in this case I can find that is the d orbital consists of one electron only but d subshell have five orbitals and based on that it should have either that is five electrons so as to have an incomplete or partially filled electrons or it should consist of that is all the 10 electrons then only it could be a complete one. But in this case we have got to know that is this d orbital that is I am talking about that is this d subshell it, it consists of only one electron. And since it consists of only one electron that's the reason and it is incomplete that's the reason this scandium is known as transition element. And suppose in its that is oxidation state also if we talk about so scandium has an oxidation state of plus 2 and plus 3. So suppose if it is showing plus 2 oxidation state then also it has been shown that is this d orbital which will consist of one electron. But suppose if I'm talking about that is zinc. So zinc has an atomic number of 30 so therefore we could write the electronic configuration as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 4s2 and 3d10. In this case if I have talked about that is d subshell so obviously it consists of that is 5 orbitals as you can see over here but it also consists of 10 electrons so therefore I could write it here as 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that means this orbital that is what I am observing over here is now completely filled with electrons. That's the reason that zinc is a D block element but it is not a transition element. And suppose if I am talking about the oxidation state. So zinc is commonly in an oxidation state of Zn plus 2. So in that case this two electrons that is basically located in the S orbital or in S subshell if I would say. So suppose if this two electrons are being lost so therefore the zinc would occupy the oxidation state of plus 2. So in this case also the d orbitals it will be completely filled with electrons. So that's the reason but we have also discussed about that is the transition elements that it's, it should consist of that is incomplete or partially filled d orbital. So in that case we have understood that is the zinc doesn't consist of the incomplete d orbitals and that's the reason the scandium is a transition element but the zinc is not a transition element. So what is actually a transition element let me talk about in a brief. So transition elements are those elements which have a property between the S block elements and P block elements. So talking about the S block elements, S block elements are very much electropositive. I talk about the P block elements, most of the P block elements are electronegative. So therefore 
this kind of elements have a transition property between the s block elements as well as between the p block elements and that's the reason they are known as transition elements but based on the oxidation state and based on the electronic configuration i have discussed about that is what is transition element and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that is what is transition element and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe you get a channel thank you so much